Mark, this was an emotional, agonizing case from day one. It's really no surprise that there were tears and emotions when that verdict was read. However, Asario Aguirre showed no emotion and did not react when that guilty verdict was read. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Isaro Aguirre, guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. Tears and hugs after the guilty verdict was read, bringing to close weeks of emotional testimony, horrific evidence, and agonizing details of eight-year-old Gabriel Fernandez's abuse, torture, and ultimate death. Old broken ribs, three new broken ribs. He had four teeth knocked out. He was in the condition that he was dying. The seven-woman, five-man jury deliberated for a total of just five and a half hours before delivering the verdict. Asario Geary showing no emotion. Prosecutor John Hatami couldn't hold back the tears as a father and a child abuse survivor. This case very personal to him. It was just, um, just you know, feeling like he got justice. Gabriel Fernandez was routinely beaten, starved, shot with a BB gun, and forced to sleep gagged and bound, locked in a cabinet. The details of this crime sent shockwaves through the community and forced several agencies to take a closer look at how they handle child abuse cases. There has been changes uh, within the Sheriff's Department, certainly, uh, as a result of this case, and others like it, but certainly this case. Now, the jury must next decide whether to sentence Aguirre to death. Uh, that penalty phase begins next Monday, November 24th. And Gabriel's mother, Pearl Fernandez, is still awaiting trial for her alleged part in the boy's torture and death.